What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to take everyday objects and embed ChatGPT right in them so that everyday objects can become a lead machine. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually use our iPhone to take a photo of this label here. And you can see it's already got a QR code. This QR code sucks. We're going to replace this with our own QR code. What I'm going to do here, guys, is use my iPhone to take a photo of the label. And I'm going to extract the text from the label and throw it into ChatGPT to make a really quick chatbot knowledge base. Check it out. Open up my camera here and take the photo. Perfect. Now that I've got the photo on my phone, what I can do is just tap and automatically the iPhone is extracting. It's picking up all of the text here and I can just click copy. The next thing I'm going to do to make life easy is open up ChatGPT. Use the following text from the milk carton label to create a knowledge base for a chatbot. Paste in the whole text from the label. Now it's building out an awesome knowledge base for us right before our very eyes. Now I noticed this earlier, and this is where our human reinforcement has got to come into play. I can see here in the ChatGPT app that the iPhone actually did not grab the calories that were listed on the milk label. Here we can see that it says calories not explicitly stated, but label provides calorie detailed per nutrient. But here we can clearly see the calories are 120 per serving. So this is something where we'll just simply add in the calories are 120 per serving. And so then it's going to reformat this and whole thing and give us the knowledge base that we need. All right, so next you're going to head on over to chatbotbuilder.ai. Create a brand new account. I'm going to name this account Milk. Okay, and click continue. All right, so now we're in our account and we're going to go ahead and, and click settings, integrations, and we'll click OpenAI ChatGPT. Click edit. Here, you're going to take the text that ChatGPT gave you based on the information on the label and paste it right here where you see business information prompt. I've added, you are a milk carton. Your job is to answer questions based on your label info. And here we've got all the information that we've extracted from ChatGPT. We're gonna turn this milk carton into a lead gen machine. How are we gonna do that? We're gonna use a combination of strong prompt engineering and ChatGPT triggers. This is a special feature that you're going to find in your chatbot builder AI account, and you're going to love it. What we'll do here is we'll just add a simple instruction. After you've provided a warm welcome to the user and answered every question that they've got, the next priority that you have on your list is to attempt to capture the user's contact info to sign them up for the newsletter related to all milk product from Publix. To join the newsletter, the required information is full name, phone number, email, and zip code. Let's go ahead and click continue. Now, the next thing that we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to create a custom field for zip code. To do this, we're gonna go over to the flows tab, click custom fields, click add, and we're gonna add zip code the zip code is a number so we'll add that parameter and we'll click continue we already have the system fields for full name and email and phone number so you don't have to create those zip code is just something a little bit unique the next step here is we're going to go to settings back into integrations and then we're going to click on open ai chat gpt again but this time we're going to go to chat gpt triggers we're going to create a new trigger click add we're going to call this join newsletter. What does this trigger do? What we're going to tell it to do is allows the user to join the email list newsletter. This is what our chat GPT trigger is going to do. And we're going to tell it to collect data here. Let's click add new. And the first one we can choose is users full name. Let's match the custom field full name to add another one users email match it to email the system field users phone number we already have that system field as well 
and we'll say users zip code and match that custom field as well, the, the last one. We don't need to send a flow, but let's do send a confirmation and we'll say you are now subscribed to our VIP newsletter. Let's click continue and boom, we'll open up the chat GPT prompt again and we'll need to select the trigger that we just made, join newsletter. Okay, great. So now we can click continue. All right, so now we're ready to test this out. Now, normally we would just test this out right on the machine, but what we'll do is we'll go to our tools section. We'll click QR code generator and we will select the welcome message and generate. So let's go ahead and click download. Now we've got the QR code here. We can copy this image and you can use any program that you'd like. I'm gonna use Photoshop. So we'll just paste in the QR code and we'll print it. All right, the moment of truth. And we will stick this QR code right on top of the crappy one here. Boop. Now mine obviously is covering up the label. You'd want the QR code to be more along the, the, the actual size. And now what we can do is test out our chatbot. Open up our camera. We see the new improved QR code. Hi, welcome to Milk. How can we help you? How many calories are you? And we're gonna get the answer. I contain 120 calories per serving. Now let's see if we can join the newsletter. Do you have an email list I can sign up for? Question mark. And here we go. We're gonna see if we get the required questions. Yes, we have a newsletter related to all milk products from Publix. Would you like to join our newsletter? It's a great way to stay updated on our latest offers and promotions. Did this half gallon of milk just become a lead gen machine, baby? I think it did. I'll need some information. Could you please provide me with your full name, phone number, email address, and zip code? Ryan Baggett, Ryan at chatbotbuilder.ai29910. <laughs> Did the chatbot collect the information correctly? We'll just go back into our account and we'll click on the inbox here. Look at that. It's exactly correct. I did say 2990, but I can manually come in here, move my big head out the way, add in what I need and hit save. And I'm all gravy, baby. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope you are inspired by this video because even an old boring half gallon of milk can now be an awesome lead gen conversational experience for your brand to your customers. And for you agencies out there, I hope that you're just now seeing the enormous opportunities that there are out there. Everything can be a chatbot. Everything can be a moneymaker for you and your clients. Thanks for watching. Peace.